Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually a versus, it's Battle of the Beauty Boxes, and it is BoxyCharm versus Coat Crush. Super excited, sorry guys, should have taken my address label off, but super excited to be doing a battle with these two boxes. So if you'd like to see what I got, see some of my um, reviews and my thoughts, then please keep on watching. Make sure you guys also subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. I upload a video every single day of the week. I don't want you to miss any. Guys, it is super hot. Sorry, it's like 90 degrees and it's almost 8 o'clock at night. Um, hope I'm not offending anybody with my tank top, but you know what? If you don't like it, honestly, don't watch. Um, it's modest. It's not showing anything, but I do get comments. Um, so, it's a little annoying. I'm still getting used to that part of YouTube. But anyway, enough with my rant. So guys, like I said, it is May's Boxy Charm and May's Cold Crush. Um, so let's go ahead and start with BoxyCharm. It was the winner last month, so let's go ahead and see what I got for Maze. So guys, it was cool because um, Maze BoxyCharm, you got six products instead of five. And the um, little theme was Boxy Bash. So guys, first thing, I'm going to go ahead and do a little mini review. This went up on Tuesday, full review, demo, everything like that. But it is the Pure Cosmetics Sculptor Highlight and Contour Palette. Guys, this does retail for $30. It's a beautiful palette. Um, go watch Tuesday's video. Um, the contour shades do look very, very dark. Um, they are workable, um, but you have to start very, very lightly. Um, the highlights are stunning as well, and they both work for my skin tone, but really, really nice palette. The contour shades, they you have to really work with blending, um, but great, great little contour palette. So 30 bucks it's for expensive, um, and it's only six months shelf life, so you have to use it quickly. Um, the other thing that we got was the Aesthetica P12 brush. And this retailed for, let me find it, it retailed for $27. Um, I've used it a few times. I like to keep kind of my boxy, my beauty subscription boxes together. So I haven't gotten to use this a ton, but it is really, really soft. It's great for wiping away um, baking. It's also great, just a nice um, face brush. Really, really soft. It's synthetic and it's a really, really nice brush. Um, has a nice handle. Just really, really pretty. So I do like this a lot. Next, we also got a Aesthetica three-piece um, eye set. We got a pointed tip eyeliner. Sorry, mine is dirty. I need to wash it. Um, you also got a spoolie and a slant um, eyeliner. It's really, really thick for an eyeliner, but this three-piece set does retail for $45. I don't know if I agree with the retail price for the brushes, but um, they're, they're good brushes. I'm, they're great. I do like them. Um, but yeah, I would use this slant, slanted um, eyeliner brush as more like a smudge brush for smudging on eyeliner or something like that. Next, guys, we got the Pretty Vulgar, um, the Ink Blacklist Gel Eyeliner. This does retail for $24. I really, really like this eyeliner. I think it's such cute packaging. Just really, really nice. Um, the thing is, though, is... If you don't set your eye shadow, your eyes, after you prime and everything, you need to make sure they're completely dry or it does smudge on my eyes. Um, but um, it is a really, really nice black eyeliner. I just did a really, really small amount. But very, 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 very black, very pigmented, and it is a great gel eyeliner. And it's such a cute little container. I absolutely love it. Okay, guys, next um, we're going to be going over, this is the... Han Skincare Lip Gloss in Nude Rose. Guys, this is absolutely stunning. And this does retail for $15. And guys, I have to say, I've worn this a lot. And it's so pretty. It smells like vanilla icing. Like, But guys, it's very, very pigmented. It has really good lasting power. It feels really good on the lips. It's not sticky. I really, really like this lip gloss a lot. I've worn it a few times. I posted on my Instagram and they actually commented the Han Skin Care Cosmetics. Um, Really, really great company, it seems like, and I would love to try some more of their products, so. And then, guys, the last thing is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. This retails for $38, and guys, this is a great primer. I did a whole standalone review of this. It really does fill in the pores. It um, makes the makeup look really, really nice. I didn't see any, like, makeup extending powers, but it does blur and smooth the skin. I love to do it around my nose, my forehead, and a little bit on my chin. 
So I'm breaking out and I picked a little, honestly. Um, anyway, but it is a really nice primer. I do like it a lot. So guys, um, really, really great box. A lot of awesome things. Um, so far, I've never been disappointed with cover with a boxy charm. I'm really, really liking it. So I like it. Okay, hey guys, next, Hope Crush. Um, I'm going to show you what we got in it. So I got a little card with it. So we were supposed to get some Bioderma um, micellar water. They had a big issue with shipment, so I actually didn't get that. But I got a replacement of the Dr. Lip Bangs Lip Freak Buzzing Lip Balm. Okay, guys, this stuff is awesome. Um, I've been wearing it for the last few days, and it really is so tingly. Smells really, really nice and minty, and it's just a great lip balm. I really, really like it. Um, about three or four minutes after you put this on, it honestly feels like little tiny beads are stinging your lips. There has to be some kind of plumping property. I'm going to put it on, um, and let's see as I, we go through the video. Next, um, we got the Laundress Wash and Stain Bar. Um, this is supposed to help with removing makeup stains out of your clothes. I haven't gotten to try it yet has a very strong scent. Um, I believe this does have borax in it. I think some people were trying to wash their makeup br brushes with it. Probably not a good idea, but I'm excited to um, try this out. I hate when you get like mascara or foundation. Foundation is the worst uh, when you get it on a pretty top or something or your jeans. So I'm excited to try this out. Next is the Pure Paw Paw Multi-Purpose Ointment. I got this in the scent flavor grape. Um, you can use it on your lips, elbows, anywhere that's dry. It is petroleum based. And yeah, I've smelt it and I put a little bit on the back of my hand, but I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet. Next, we got the BH Cosmetics Sculpt and Blend Mini Brush Set. It comes with three little brushes, cute little packaging. Um, I love BH Cosmetics brushes, so I'm really excited to try these out. They look really, really nice. They're synthetic and, but yeah, they're. They're nice little brushes, so nice pointed, um, like fat little pencil brush, and yeah, I'm excited to try these out. And then guys, finally, the last thing I did get is the J-Cat Aura Glow Liquid Highlighter. Um, so yeah, obviously I can't use this, it is way too dark. Um, I was thinking maybe I could use it mixed in with some moisturizer or something to give kind of like a fake tan to my legs. But it's just, I think, too gold and too shimmery. But it is a beautiful highlighter if you have that skin tone. They had two different um, two different shades, and unfortunately, I got the dark one. Okay, guys, now that we've seen what I got, I'm going to go ahead and do pros and cons. Okay, so with the boxy charm, the only con I can really see is the Pure Cosmetic Sculpt and Blend, um, the Sculptor Palette. Guys, it is kind of difficult to use. If you don't know how to use it, it's really, really difficult. That's why I did do a very in-depth, full review of this. The contour shades are very, 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 very dark. So if you go in like you normally would with a contour, it's going to be too much. And it's very, very hard to blend out. Um, but it is a really nice palette once you know how to use it. It does give a beautiful um, contoured look to the face. It is really nice, but it's not user friendly. So, but that's the only con I can see with the boxy charm for me. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the Colt Crushes. So Colt Crushes, um, they said that they, my shipping label says May 11th. I actually didn't get my box until June 2nd. Um, there was that big mishap with the um, Bioderma micellar water. And so a lot of people did not get their May boxes until June. Um, customer service was very, very lacking. Um, the box was $11, but for June it went up to $14. And honestly, I was not impressed. I'm really, really disappointed with the highlight. Um, you think that they would maybe like try to reach out and see what shade would fit you best. I kind of feel like just stuff was thrown into a box just to get it sent out. Um, like I said, it's a beautiful highlighter. Um, it doesn't dry down, so it's still very, very like just moves around. Um, I'll probably find someone to give it to because I honestly can't use this. It's way too dark. I can't even use it on my eyelids because it's a little slippy and greasy. So really disappointed with that. Um, but, you know, was it worth the $11? I like the brushes. Um, I'll, I'll use the laundry bar. The lip gloss is, the lip balm is good. Um, and I don't know when I'll use the Pure Papa. 
um, ointment. But, I mean, for $11, I got to try something new. Um, so, guys, who's going to be the winner? <laughs> I don't think this is going to be any um, any shock to you guys, but it is BoxyCharm again. Um, guys, BoxyCharm is 21 bucks a month. You get a lot of product. It's usually very high end. I get to try a lot of cool stuff I would never get to try. Um, honestly, I totally lost interest with the cult crushes just because of the big debacle with May's box. I've already canceled it. Um, it's to me, it's not worth the money, especially with them increasing the price to $14 a month. And yeah, no, I, I'm so severely disappointed. I've never been so disappointed with a beauty box or a subscription service. Um, you know, I, I, yeah, just extremely disappointed. Um, you know, give it a try if you want to. Um, you can always cancel it. But yeah, it is definitely boxy charm. I think this is going to be the last versus Battle of the Beauty boxes. I'm going to think about it. Um, but I'm really, really happy with boxy charm. I'm going to continue with them. And I think they're an awesome service. So definitely check them out. Um, 21 bucks a month is not bad. Free shipping. And you get really cool products. And you get to try some cool stuff. But guys, yeah, I'm sorry it kind of ended on a down note. Um, but... You know, customer service does go a very, very long way, and Cult Crushes um, was not great. They didn't answer emails, they didn't answer direct messages on Instagram, um, and then, yeah, just, just, yeah, no, so not impressed. But anyway, you guys, I'm so glad BoxyCharm won again. Definitely check them out. I don't have an affiliate link or anything. Just go find someone else. Um, but yeah, they have really, really great products. And I think a lot of people would enjoy it. But guys, thank you so much for watching this month's Battle of the Beauty Boxes. Boxy Charm one again. Shocker. Um, but you guys, if you guys have a suggestion for a different beauty subscription box to try out, leave it down below in the comments. I'm always very interested in that. And guys, I hope you guys have a great day, night, morning, whatever. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you guys share this video, um, whether it's getting the word out on BoxyCharm and how awesome it is, my opinion, or, you know, maybe if you've had a similar experience with um, Cult Crushes. Yeah, and guys, always leave a comment down below. What would you like to see? Did you enjoy this video? It helps me out. Let's me know what you guys would like to see in the future. And guys, don't forget to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. It's all at Budget Glam Babe. I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Have a great one, guys.